Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I have something small and maybe you've seen the, the former video, but I try one of these uh, decade boxes and I wasn't necessarily impressed. And of course, for the price you pay, because it's between 15, 20 dollars, I don't think you can expect too much, but it has 1% uh, uh, resistors. And the first thing we did immediately was changing these uh, these binding posts because you could not put your bananas inside. So that was the first thing I changed. And also the switches were very greasy and didn't necessarily make a very good contact. Um, but it looks nice and really if you fiddle a bit, it works. But yeah, you don't want to fiddle, I think. So I tried something else. It was cheaper, it doesn't have a box, but maybe it is better. It has the same 1% resistors, but it is a circuit board and it is with jumpers. And I've seen another very popular one, it's longer and it does exactly the same. Also 1% resistors, you put it with jumpers, but this one does have the banana terminals. So. We need to put it together because it just comes in a bubble wrap because it fits then to the mailbox and then it's very cheap to ship but it comes with the binding post and the good thing is you can actually put your bananas in so the plugs that we needed to do here ourselves were already here so uh, well, let's build it build it is a big word but let's put the thing together okay here we have it yes yeah, so i also have the the normal bananas and I have the two and the four wire. These are the Kelvin clips. Also, I like to see if that makes a huge difference or not. I don't think on the high resistance it will too much. Yeah, maybe on the very, very high, but mostly on the very low, low resistance. And we can uh, test with that. So this one should be able to go from zero to well, a lot of nines. So that could be nice. They said, they even say where I need to put the black and the red. But uh, we're talking about the resistors. So it probably doesn't matter too much. It comes with a lot of jumpers. I hope with enough, to be honest. So let's put them on the zero. And you just put a lot of resistors in series and if you put everything to zero it should be zero well, of course the jumpers also have a little bit of resistance so it will not be exactly zero but it probably comes close i think it comes closer than a real dodgy switch with a lot of grease so well, we have some extra jumpers that I like because you will probably lose some and it's not necessary to use two or three because you will put them in parallel and then that would not make anything better. So we're going to connect these posts. These are maybe not necessary, but I think I will use them anyway. I'm thinking if I only put it, then I have one contact point. And I like to have more than one contact point. So I think I'm gonna put this here. Then I put the net. It is not gonna look super, super nice because you have the net in between first. But then it, I think that is the only way I have a contact point on the top and the bottom. I'm gonna do that. It seems it's stuck. Then I'm gonna put the ring and the net here. And it's gonna look a bit silly, but I like that the net is making contact on the bottom and the top. Well, it feel 
tools like get stuck. And look, we have now a contact point right here and right here. So yeah, I think I like that. It just feels better that uh, yeah, the contact points are, are really good. I will do the same here. And here I can put the Kelvin clip. So it is a double function. It acts like a, a, a ring, a, wa a washer. And it also can be used with the Kelvin clips. Yeah, here we have a closer look at the board and as you can see it's very easy here is the 100 ohms the 10 ohms and the 1 ohms and you just move the jumper and if you all put them to zero as i did now then it's just a short and as you can see it's just they put them in series the resistors just go up, 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 up. so it is just a uh, a long string and if you put the jumper you short it and then the resistance is there but of course on the zero it's all zero and if you put them all in the back it is all nines and uh, i think it's easy to to operate maybe a switch is nicer but i think this is a lot more reliable and if you feel as your jumper is not that tight enough they supply some extra so yeah i think it's good enough Okay, here we have it. They are all set to uh, zero. You can just move the jumpers to get another resistance. And I'm just wondering, first we just do the two wire system, what it will do. I think it's clear to see, yes. Let's just connect these. And it should be zero ohms because they are all on the zero, zero, zero. So let's see, yes. it says now 0 0.4 but you need to know that when i do my cables i short my cables already 0 0.3 as you can see because we use the two wire system so it's measuring also the resistance through my cables and 0 0.3 ohms is well possible these are uh, also chinese cables so so let me put it so that means yeah it is a very little resistance but we can uh, do so this are, is the this is the one ohms right here so we go to nine well it is so that works put this jumper back we go to 90 close enough we go to 900 i would say that is pretty close let's go to 1k yes let's go to nine that is pretty close we have 10k so we go to 90 we have here 100k indeed this is 9k 900 then we have one mega arm and we go to nine meg. That is pretty close. And let's see what is the difference with, uh, with the Kelvin clips with the four wire system. 
first to just uh, short it because as we could see, we already had here 0 0.3. So let's see what happens if we do that with the other clips. And these are not even that expensive. I will put a, put a link also in the bottom. And uh, I have them with, with BNCs for my LCR meter, but you can also buy them with uh, bananas. So you can use them in your multimeter, if your multimeter has the four wire system also. And uh, it just compensates for the loss in the cable. And uh, in this one, it doesn't matter. It, it, as long as you put them both, But I will only do first one of each, and then we should have the same because then we use the two wire system. I This one, I don't need to switch over. This one I do, but I'm using this one, I'm only connecting two. So let's see what we have. And as you can see, we have now uh, 0 0.2 ohms. So the cables are a little bit better than, uh, than these uh, Chinese cables. But what will happen if we use the four wire system? So now we're gonna compensate the loss of the cable. And I'm not gonna touch it. Oh, Look. 0 0.003 ohms. So that's what the four wire system does. It really compensates out. So let's see what happens if we put now these zero ohms here. How much loss we have in the jumpers and maybe it's not even that bad. This is very, very precise. So if we do now, 100 and remember it's one percent so this is super close if we go now to 900 yeah and this is super close let's do something higher okay This is super close. So I like it a lot, this board. A switch is more convenient, but uh, if the quality is like that, you're much better off with this uh, jumper uh, system. And then if you have the possibility, connect four wires to your multimeter, then, then think of having these Kelvins because you are a lot, lot better off. So. The four and the two wire system, if you look here, the Kidly just switches over automatically because now it's just in four wire mode, now it's even back to zero. Look at this. This is how well it compensates. And if I take now out the ohm sense, now it's 0 0.2. And the Kidly switches over automatically with the HP, you really need to do that yourself. So let's do that. All right. It is now in two wire, and it says now, I think, yeah, you can read that perfectly. It is uh, 0.36, and if we go to four wire, we need to switch it over and put also, and look at this, then it immediately goes down to 0.002923. So it is really, really close. So it really does matter, even in this meter. And this one, I didn't heat it. We can try if it also works here. I don't use this meter too much, to be honest. Okay, it needs to be in the four watch mode to use the four wire. Currently, it's also gonna put more current. So here, I put it now in four watts. And here, you can see it's really zero, zero, zero. Lower, it doesn't go. So in that sense, it is, uh, well, it's a huge difference between my Kidly and this. Uh, this is a basic one, but it, it works very nice. It has a lot of options. I uh, also find out that uh, 
It has this uh, mat function with the min max average. That is also cool, I never use that. So uh, it's nice you all knew these things because I also learn uh, more about some of the equipment I have. So that was very quick. Instead of talking a, a lot about the uh, decade resistor, I started talking a lot more about uh, Kelvin's, but uh, about the clips, the four wire system, but it does make sense on the lower resistance. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just also playing a bit. Uh, but about the board, if, even though it doesn't have a very nice box like this one has, uh, it is easy to operate and I like the precision. And if you move the jumpers a little bit, which you can hardly not do because they are very, very tight, especially now when it's new, uh, the value is, is really precise. And the one percent resistors really stay within the one percent. So that is also nice. Well, if you have a switch and, and if you remember or look back that video, it was full of grease and if you move the switch a little bit yeah then you are you you're not, not gonna have the one percent because you're not only talking about the resistor you are also talking about the resistance of the switch and uh, yeah they are just not that good so if this one can somehow be put in a nice box yeah then it would be perfect but yeah you need to be able to touch the jumpers so i would just leave it as it is maybe i put them on on, on four little legs so it can stand but that's about it i like it so thank you for watching and i uh, hope to see you next time